All right, what's up to YouTube? So today we're starting off right with a project. I got some lights for the truck, these uh, LED um, running lights, because as you know, with these Anzo headlights, the, uh, the running lights has the, the amber um, light in there. These will make it LED to match the ring. And then I think I have to find some other lights for there to make those LEDs too, I believe, but I haven't found those yet. But regardless, I'm gonna pop these in there really fast and then uh, see how it looks from there. So for the 15 or 20 bucks these were on Amazon, I'm gonna give it a shot. My uh, custom tint job's still holding up. Been on there for like a week now, no peeling. All right, boom, like that. I got the uh, the first one taken out. It's not too hard to get these little running lights out. I've showed this before, that's why I'm kind of not filming the process. I just take little, three little screws out of the liner and then I can reach my hand up and uh, get the bulb taken out. So, last one. Of course, this would happen. The the bulb fell off inside the housing of the light. So uh, that should be, this should be really fun to get out. Wow, shout out to me for trying to rush. They really don't want me to get these running lights in. I went to go grab it with some uh, needle nose through that hole and it pushed forward even further. So, that's sick. I'm super pumped right now. Well, after about at least 30 to 40 minutes of trying to get this thing out of the light, I finally got it using this little hook thing and luckily got hooked on this little prong and I fished it out of that little hole. I can't believe I actually got this damn thing out. So now I'm gonna put it on, tape it on, so it does not ever come off again. All right, and finally, there's the finished project. That was definitely not worth the headache to put these damn things in, but uh, it's finally done. I guess I'll shut this ring light off so you can kind of see um, what it looks like when it's dark. There you go, kind of got rid of the amber. Next step is just to uh, get a new one of those. I think it looks pretty cool, a little bit better. All right, once again, stopped at the local Lowe's. Big car for two little sandbags for the project that we're about to do. Uh, it's better than carrying it, that's for sure. All right, those are strapped and loaded. Oh, shout out to the local Walmart not having toy dirt bikes. They got these junk things, but uh, maybe I'll pick one up. That's 350, fun. jumping in the pond maybe. We'll get the pink one for Anthony. We'll get a green one for me. Nice. Both jump them in the pond. Give the video a thumbs up. That's if you want me to come back and buy these and jump them in the pond. This is probably the Yamaha version, huh? This is a Ryan version. Oh, this is the big boy version, it's 600 bucks. Look at that, 30 miles an hour, thing moves, thing moves. Too bad they don't make an electric version, I'd be all over that, I would have bought it right now. Ryan, is that you? Ryan, what's up, bro? You're on a quad, what's new? Bro, Anthony, is that you? Anthony's on his own e-bike. Look, except this kid can actually touch the ground on his e-bike. Anthony, Anthony not so much, he's a short little guy. Little Alta versus Razor 500 race? I don't know, Razor might actually uh, give it a run for his money. Let me get on this stallion. Okay. Break this thing, I don't wanna buy it. We're riding it out. Oh. What is it? Fortnite Monopoly, really? Really? That's ridiculous. I'm gonna put this thing away before uh, before I break it. Dude, I should get one of these for the Alta so people can hear me coming. Everybody hates on them so much, get it a little uh, little sparkle going on, a little flail, you know? You what else? Set. I could get a little bell too on there. Man, I think we got the Alta starter pack right here. This is sick. Man, I'm getting this. Well, maybe Target will be the, the place that has Cowies because Walmart, if they had anything, they probably would have just had Hondas. Well, Target, I'm pissed. I don't know how you don't have toy dirt bikes in stock, but uh, hey, they're just ruining kids' childhoods not selling any type of dirt bike at these stores. I don't get it. I don't get it. When I was a kid, they had them everywhere. All right, we'll get this sand unloaded here. Oh, score, dude. Fish food, my uh, as far as the the dirt bike goes, we're gonna have to do some uh, revisions to the bike. It's a Suzuki, and it's a supermoto. We're painting it green, and it's gonna be a Cowie. All right, that's just the way it's gonna be because for some reason I cannot find any toy dirt bikes anywhere. All right, let's use our uh, imagination a little bit to give this the Bailey when I'm done with it, since uh, he just picked up that new DRZ. Boom's the hard part. We're getting all detailed with this thing. I guess I'll come back to you when it's got a full uh, plastics change. A fresh uh, plastic swap. The enduro parts, they're coming off. Alrighty, that's more like it. We got all the dual sport stuff taken off. It's kind of like a Cowie retro build if you see the, the yellow. Uh, but Cowie never did yellow, so just use your imagination. If you guys have anything better than this, piece of crap, 
toy dirt bike, please send it to my PO box. This thing's pathetic, man. But you gotta work with what you got. The entire video is a complete joke. Do not take me serious. This is just a, a meme, I guess you can. All right, I got most of the hard part out of the way to assemble this thing. spray paint on that didn't work now for the hard part sculpting this thing here we got the the track building tools right from the kitchen it's gonna be a lot harder than I uh, planned They're so ridiculous I can't believe I'm actually doing this right now this is so dumb Here it is. The track is fully finished, fully prepped, ready to ride. It comes this way, goes that, boom, boom, boom. Big hitter right there. Boom, 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 back. <laughs> I have gone way overboard. I never did this as a kid. Uh, maybe for some people, uh, if you're watching, if you're older like me, it'll bring back some memories. Uh, but yeah, this is from it turned into a joke to a full on, like trying to make everything perfect. But, uh, yeah, I did not originate, like I didn't come up with this idea. I saw it like years and years ago. I cannot think of where I saw it. If anybody knows where somebody has done something like this similar in like a box type of thing, post it in the comments. I'll definitely mention it. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll we'll break out the, uh, the DRZ slash Kawasaki slash whatever bike. Use your imagination. And uh, we'll get a little, we'll get a little first ride on this little track. Like I said, do not take me serious. This is a complete, complete joke. Yeah, I'm just rolling with it at this point. I already committed to buying everything, so. Look at these ruts it's forming. The track is mint right now. Track could not be better. Probably the most ridiculous thing I have ever done on this YouTube channel. I'm very sorry. This, this is, guys enjoyed it. I guess give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I don't know, but uh, I got too carried away with this. I'm about to go dump all this sand in the pond and get rid of it. But uh, yeah, like I said, the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. I've got a bunch of other projects I should be worrying about. Um, I want to tear into the pit bike today, get this thing all taken off, get that new, uh, get the tires taken off, and then uh, get the, the wheels sent off for powder coat. I'm just going to powder coat the whole thing black, the whole wheel, spokes and hub, just have them spray the whole thing. I really don't care as long as they're black. I might do the swing arm too black, and I might do, I don't really want to tear it down to do the frame. We'll see how I feel about that. Yeah, I got to tear down the, uh, the 125 here also. Um, I'm gonna get some stuff repowder coated, some stuff Cerakoted. Like, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do the brake cylinder Cerakoted. Uh, I'm gonna blast these, Cerakote the triple clamps, Cerakote that. Cerakote a bunch of little things. I don't know, why not? Get that taken apart. OG pit bike will be announced in about a week once I get all the orders shipped out. Most of them should be shipped come Monday if you're watching this on Sunday. Got another project going on over here. Gotta get all these cut and formed and yeah, so, so yeah, I got a lot of work ahead of me. I'm gonna throw this out. Still gotta putty and um, tape all the drywall, get that done. And uh, yeah, so, and paint it, and finish the drywall over here, finish everything like that, take stuff down, paint everything white. I might do a little accent piece on the bottom, line it up here and do like the bottom green, or I haven't decided yet. But uh, yeah, like I said, I have a lot of work ahead of me. Everything ready to go for the winter before we get a ton of snow. We gotta clean these air filters. Like, what is this thing? What's an air filter? Who uses air filters anymore? It's so outdated nowadays. It's been dirty for a while. It's been, 
It's been a couple months. If you guys want to see more DIY stuff, let me know down in the comments. We had a little casualty with the with the vlog camera. Cracked the screen, dropped it on the concrete. These things are no good. No good. Dirt behind the lens on these things. If you guys have a Canon G7X, you know if you uh, film dirt bikes, dirt gets behind the lens and you can't get the dirt out behind the lens so it looks like the lens is dirty. So if you ever watch in the video and it's kind of not clear, that's why this thing's junk. You have to send it into Canon and get it replaced. Like I said, I'm going to cap this video off here. If you guys are new, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. This is not a normal video. This is just messing around. Came up with the idea and uh, figured why not try and do it. So maybe some of you liked it, maybe some of you didn't. No, I should have a build video up on Tuesday, hopefully Tuesday. And uh, yeah, so stay on the lookout for that. Like I said, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Mondigan, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.